Moses is called by God. He goes up to the mountain and he sees this bush that's burning but not consumed. He meets the great I am and he tells him, you're going to deliver my people. So then what's he do? He goes into the presence of Pharaoh, says, thus says the Lord, let my people go. He says, I don't know who the Lord is, nor will I let you go, but here's what I will do. I'll send your people back out and they're going to make twice the amount of bricks they made before and they can gather their own straw. Do you see how he went from like greatness to not so great? And now he needs the Lord's comfort. And the Lord comes alongside him and says, Moses, I know that happened. It's all part of my plan. It's all good because I'm still going to use you. I'm going to bring about these plagues. And look, when you see what happens through the plagues, it all didn't go so well. It was kind of messy. He said it, but then they kind of replicated it. And then they couldn't replicate this one. And then he says he wouldn't let them go. And then he finally lets them go. And then he chased them to the Red Sea. And in the midst of it all, you see this comfort and greatness, comfort and greatness. And maybe you're experiencing the same thing in your life where you're going through all this. I'm saying, this is the way of the great men and women of God throughout the scripture. 